Islanders, it looks like our clever and our applications are working today. I know that was a frustrating day yesterday, and it was frustrating for me because I wasn't able to get my announcements up. So I want to share the wonderful news that during spring break, Odyssey of the Mind won second place and qualified for the world finals at the state tournament. Uh, our team, the structure team of Aditi Pai, Akash Pai, Amira, Amira Saeed, and Lillian Cicada all, ha all had a winning uh, project of a balsa wood structure that held 110 pounds. Though they're not going to be attending the World Finals, it's an amazing accomplishment, and we want to send a shout out to Mrs. Walters and all of the students that are involved in Odyssey of the Mind. We look forward to next season as well. Also want to shout out our PTA Reflections winners, Emerson Moore, Jaden Metal Ho, and Isabella Jantak. They won state awards in the PTA Reflections Art Competition, which is a wonderful honor. Congratulations to those students. Yesterday started the fourth marking period at DHMS, and on the announcements yesterday, I announced that everyone yesterday had straight A's, and so I hope you kept your straight A's through at least the first day of the marking period, and let's do our best to finish the year strong. Part of finishing strong includes being on time to class, and so today we are starting a new program called Student Conductor, and Student Conductor is a program where students who are tardy are going to go to the office and enter their lunch number. And the, uh, in the office, you will have a printout that shows what time, what period, and how many tardies you have, and also how many consequences you will have for those tardies. The first few tardies will be warnings, but every single tardy will be a, a email or a text message home to your parents. So students, we want to make sure that you're on time to class. Please know that the tardies count for all of your periods. So if you are tardy in first period, and then you're tardy again in third period, and then again in sixth period, that would be three tardies in one day, and you'll move quickly toward receiving consequences. That will also be three notifications to your parents. So we want to make sure that students are on time to class. Students, when the bell rings, if you are late, you need to go to the grade level office, type in your lunch number, and it will print out the receipt. That receipt will be your pass to class. And that will be the only way that you can get into class. So you will have to go to the office to get that pass. So students, please be aware of that and please make sure that you're on time to every period, every day. Also I want to remind students, if you ride bikes or scooters, that you must walk them when you're on campus. That means when you get off of Patricia Avenue or when you get off of New York Avenue in the back, you must walk your bike from that point on. We don't want to have any accidents and no bikes or scooters are allowed even to be walked in the bus area. We don't want to take any chances with students and buses uh, coming together. Also students, every student has a laptop assigned. If you do not have one that is checked out for you to take home, you have one in your seventh period class and every morning after breakfast and before you go to first period, you need to stop by your seventh period teacher to get your laptop and take your laptop with you to every period. You need a laptop every period, so make sure you stop by your seventh period teacher to get a laptop and get yourself to class. Cell phones, earbuds, and headphones are not allowed. Same goes for hats, hoods, and head coverings. Keep those straight A's alive for the fourth quarter. As always, students, if you have a conflict with a peer, please seek the assistance of an adult before taking matters into your own hands. Here at Dunedin Highland Middle School, we use the Say Something app. If you see something, say something. The app is on the front page of our website, and it is the fastest and safest way to report any type of suspicious activity or bullying. At Dunedin Island Middle School, our rep is respect, excellence, and pride. Have a great day. Go Highlanders!